We can talk to Eleni again. What do you have to say about that? I killed your spiky ass tiger. <laughs> Please forgive me. Oh, and it's just an old woman. Sorry. The magical herbs that grow in this forest have withered. I've been trading the villagers for Thanatos' herbs. From now on, I'll simply be a normal elderly lady and live peacefully. If you're looking for the uh, that other kid, he's uh, he's at the ruins south of Pandora. You can take what's in the treasure chest. I don't need it anymore. The, the orb in the underground palace. You need to use the magic of ice. But I don't have any more magical power left. Freaking crazy ass bitch. And... Yeah, I can take what's in the treasure chest. Like, I was not going to take it at this point. Shake the shit out of that and give me... The whip! We do have a new weapon. It is another uh, melee weapon, but it is whip in form. I wonder who will be using that. Uh, we also get 50 uh, GP out of that. Let's equip the whip, though. We are going to be giving that to... Actually, there we go. I'm forgetting that I need to do that. And I for keep on forgetting which directions I need to head. We're going to be giving that to Shion. She's going to be using the whip for us uh, whenever she feels like it, to be honest with you. That is as best as I can describe it. We need to get out of here. Now, I don't believe you can actually use the magic rope. Here, let's just double check. Can I use the magic rope? Cannot use magic rope here, so we need to go out the long way, unfortunately. But there is a good reason for that. Let's see if we can head back to Nico and purchase things again. Do I have money? Is he still here? He is. How much money do I have now? I didn't have anything before. How much do I have now? I do uh, have quite a bit, so I'm going to purchase candies uh, until I'm full. Full on candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. And saved so we are ready to move on now slowly up the stairs and once again i'm sorry but we need to run out of here luckily there are no monsters so it's incredibly boring and nothing seems to happen but this is something that the game does require there's got to be a good reason why we can't use the magic rope here doesn't there surely there is let's just get out of here and we've made it out Oh, there's a cutscene out here. Dylok is alive! It just occurred to you now, Shion! What the hell is your problem? Jake, can you hear me? Come immediately to the Water Palace. It's Luca. Now what's the matter? I've got to go. I'm going too. I'm worried about Dylok, but I can't save him alone. I'll go with you in return. You can help rescue Dylok. Yippee, I'm coming along. You can count on me. And we have all decided to go to the Water Palace, apparently. That was an easy decision to make. A lot easier than the decision to go to the Underground Palace. But we need to go to the Water Palace. Uh, luckily, I do know an easy way in order to get there. However, it does require us going through the Haunted Forest again. And taking on this guy. Holy crap, did you see the range on that whip? I forgot it was that far. Jeez. I mean, I knew it was like halfway. Yeah, God, that is that is ridiculous. And that is accurate to how a whip works. Usually, I'll just give you a whip in the game. And I'll be like, nah, you can figure it out. But this one, they're just like, no, the whip goes forever. It goes further than the bow and arrow, I think. That is... That is overpowered, though, to be honest with you. Look at that. That is awesome. We need to head back this way. Yeah, that is the right way. I just double checked for a second there, but yes. Yes, it is. Uh, we need to head this way, and here we have the, that mysterious stomp that we couldn't really do anything with before. And yes, I am going to keep Yancey at the... Uh, the maximum uh, level here. Now we need to switch over to Xion, and now we can whip our way across. No hookshock required. We can just do that with a whip, which is pretty sweet. 
Uh, reminds me of the flail, of course, in uh, Sword of Mana. And we have made it back to the Water Palace. That was an easy trip. Shortcuts ahoy, thanks to the whip. Now let's head back up here, and I believe there is a sage that wishes to speak with us. Back up, and you know, let's go this one because the other one wouldn't open for me last time. How you doing? I'll restore you. Hooray! Want to save the game? I do. And then she just continues the conversation as if I didn't just save. Undyne, the elemental of water, lives in a ca cave behind a waterfall. It's east of the steps leading to this palace. You've got to find her. Her seal on this palace has failed, and I fear she is in great danger. So we have a new mission that we need to go to. Luca has informed us that we need to go in here, even though I gave her Gemma's voice when we were outside the castle. That, yeah, that was weird. Let's just get out of here, and we can try to find Undine. Once again, that's just how I say it. Could be Undine, but pretty sure it is Undine. I believe that the way we need to go is over here. And we do have a few enemies here. Nothing too bad. Nothing that can't be whipped. I swear I slashed there. Come on, I'm not trying to poke here. I'm trying to slash. We got two of them there. Freaking uh, ifish, these guys are called. Freaking ifish. These guys need to die. Down they go. Nothing too bad. They just picked on Yancey the whole time, apparently. So Yancey's the only one that was hit. More ifish. See, there I slashed and I didn't really need to. But then as soon as I want to, it doesn't work for me. Isn't that just the way that it goes? See, how did I miss all that? There we go. I hit them both that time when I figured I wouldn't. But the one time that I do, it doesn't work. Level 9 for Yancey! Very nice! Still working on that bow and arrow. Actually, yeah, you stay on that. I was about to say, didn't we get the boomerang arm? We did, but... What the? But we haven't leveled it up yet. And we have... Well, I guess you could say this is a boss fight. This is a Salamo. Uh, this, this is not too difficult, if you ask me, but... I mean, technically, I guess you could say it's a boss fight. Just stay away from it. Stop getting hit by it. It's not that hard to figure out the pattern as I get hit by it. Oh, crap. It has leveled up. It's evolved. Now, now the boss music kicks in. Now it's a biting lizard on top of being the Salamo from before. Damn it. Let's level, let's level up my sword for an attack here. Stop. Trying to eat people. There we go. 53, though. That's, that's not that great. D not when I'm doing 37 regular. To be honest, I'm not that big of a fan of the charge up all the time, except from the, the NPCs. I like it when the NPCs do it. I don't like doing it when I'm in control. I feel like I do damage a lot faster without it. And Biting Lizard gets whacked again! Damn. We are just wrecking house on this guy. He has got a ton of HP. Cure water, you bastard. How dare you cure yourself. Stop eating me. Stop eating me. That was not nice. And he cured himself again, the dick. Wasn't it enough giving me trouble with that one fight with the freaking fire all the time? Now you gotta give me the guy that cures himself all the freaking time. This is why you need to... Uh-oh. Is that gonna kill Yancey there? Yes. Yes, it is. And they're not, they're not beating around the bush on that. That's, that's Yancey dying. Meeting the Reaper and all that good stuff. Jeez. Freaking... Refuse to use candies. And then I die. That's just the way things go. So let's use a candy on Jake to make sure he doesn't die. 
damn it! This thing's got freaking 360s on me. Da Keep hitting it. Keep hitting it until dead. That is the best strategy of all time. What? And it, it freezes me whenever he does that attack, of course. You almost dead? Good lord. You need to die. And of course, and down it goes. I think it uh, finally goes down. And we got a gloves orb for that. That was not, once again, that was a rather tough fight. And I don't think I'm under leveled. I think I just suck. That is always a possibility. And there, oh, you look rather familiar. Thank you. I am Undyne. My power is your reward. I'll give you two kinds of magic. Shion can use my recovery and defense magic. Yonzi can use my battle magic. And Jake can... And me? Your mana sword will one day become more powerful than any magic. Damn you, I want magic on top of my power. You can receive an elemental's power, such as Ice Saber, on your sword. Shion can cast Ice Saber on your weapon to turn enemies into snowmen. And this, take this with you, it is one of the mana weapons. And we get a pole dart. Hooray. Call me anytime. And we have gained Undyne's power. No one can stop me now. I will smack you in the face, Yonsei. Let's just get out of here, though. We have done what we needed to do. We are going through some of the plot in this game rather quickly. They are they are not holding us back when it comes to that. They're not like, you need to sit here and wait for plot to happen. Nope, we make plot happen as we go along. Just we made it there, we came, we saw, we barely conquered. Die. And this guy, too. Ugh. Not dead yet. There we go. And Jake levels up again. That should be very, very useful since apparently I need it. Since I'm almost dying to things that I probably shouldn't be dying to. Die. Ugh. There we go. There we go. Multiple attack. Ah, I got it with the poke too. I didn't mean to poke there. I wanted to slash. There we there we go. And she levels up as well. That is always useful. So we need to head back to the Water Palace, which shouldn't be too far considering it's right here. So let's go back up and we can talk to Luca again, who I will not give Gemma's voice again. Once again, awkward. But, that, I mean, that didn't happen. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Let's go talk to Luca and be like, I did it. Can you power up my sword or something? That'd be appreciated. How you doing? I'll restore you. Want to save the game? Uh, not right now. Use Undyne's power to stop the lava in the underground palace. Crystal orbs are made to respond or react to an elemental's power. That's it? This game, treasure and plot, they're, they're not burying you in it. But that looks like that's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Secret of Mana. I've been Bella Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by Jake, Shion, and Yancy, our barely surviving squad. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.